Ocean-based carbon dioxide removal refers to a range of different approaches that involve the ocean as a means to try and remove carbon dioxide from our atmosphere and to reduce uh, the negative consequences that it's having for our planet. So Secure is a project investigating an ocean carbon dioxide removal technique that involves uh, using uh, the natural processes of the ocean like a sponge. Uh, the, ocean, the ocean contains about 150 times more carbon uh, per volume than the atmosphere and we're effectively taking that water, wringing, it, wringing out the sponge to remove the carbon to be stored geologically and then releasing that low carbon water back into the uh, ocean um, it, where it sits and absorbs the CO2 from the atmosphere and thus reduces the CO2 levels uh, in the atmosphere. The technology is relatively simple. Uh, involves uh, adjusting the, uh, temporarily the pH of the seawater uh, in order to extract as much carbon from that water as possible and then readjusting it uh, before releasing it back into the surface ocean where it can then take up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Over the last few years we've been doing lots of intensive laboratory work, modelling work, theoretical work and, and design work to understand what the technology looks like to deliver this process. So changing the pH of the water is a really important part of this work. And it turns out that actually by applying electric fields to seawater, you can split it into an acid and a base. So we can actually do the pH change of the water, the acidity change, without adding any chemicals to the seawater. So the whole process uses seawater and electricity and, and that's it, which is something that's really exciting about what we're doing. Now that we've received the Environment Agency permit for the project, we're going to be finalising design work and, and starting the build work on site at the Weymouth Sea Life Centre. The next steps are the building of uh, the pilot plant and its uh, uh, commissioning and to combine that activity with the results from our uh, very high resolution modelling activities, our environmental impact assessment activities and our monitoring, reporting and verification of that carbon dioxide removal activities to build a kind of complete picture, I guess, of how the technology can work, how it can be effective and how we might then start to scale it to meaningful levels to remove substantial amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. What really excites me about this project is it, it gives us hope. It's really easy to become despondent about things like climate change if we don't think there is ultimately a solution. Now I think what Secure does, what carbon dioxide removal technologies do, is tell us actually it is possible to pass the world onto future generations with a stable climate. We need to find solutions to the global scale climate crisis. First and foremost, we all uh, need to be decarbonising and decarbonising rapidly, reducing our fossil fuel emissions. But there are sectors um, that are difficult to decarbonise and to decarbonise quickly, such as aviation and agriculture. And these residual emissions can potentially cause quite significant problems down the line. And so finding solutions that help to actively remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere at the same time as decarbonising is a crucial part of the fight against climate change. 